I appear to have found it. Here along Lake Street, got a tiny little turnaround parking lot. Silver Lake High School is up ahead. And here we have the trail entrance. Haven't seen a blaze yet. Let's see if we find one. Oh, lots of poison ivy. Boulder erratics. Probably ticks. Pretty simple little trail here, not to improve, not a lot of evidence of it getting stomped by mountain bikes or pummeled by trail runners, etc. This kind of overlooked. There's so much rural down here in this part of Plymouth County that there's nothing particularly spectacular about it all, it's just here. Woohoo, flush to grouse. There's the old confidence blaze, as they're called. Making sure we know where the turn is. You can see a little blaze on this short cross country thing. And you can see yet another vandalized blaze marker. And it's essentially your old cart road, fire road bridal path, whatever. Oh, nice mortising of that stuff. Oh, that one. <laughs> Blue Jays sounding the alarm. Right, throwing stuff at the humans. Pound the humans out of the trees. And now we have another little turn indicating this way. So that's toward Bay Farm. Here's the junction. Don't really know where that goes, probably the school or something. And here we are, figuring it out with Harry in the lead. Huh, Harry? <laughs> look at that tail going. <laughs> here we are at the height of land. Looking over the extensive athletic fields of the Silver Lake Regional Complex. This is our way back to the trailhead. This downhill is our way to Bay Farm. And here's where we be, the trail begins to move from the Jones River lowland quasi floodplain and starts to go uphill. And this is where it skirts the high school. And this is where the turn is. And the whole thing finally makes sense. 
And here we are running along in a parallel to the school complex. Nice quiet little stretch of trail. This takes us back towards Lake Street. There's some kind of trail running event, which is marked by some kind of dust thing. Trail running is very popular. So the Bay Circuit momentarily meets the trail run. So yeah, you get to this intersection. You don't want to bother with this. It'll just stick you into the high school grounds. This is the elegant way around the whole thing, conceived by the Bay Circuit crew down here. And here the Bay Circuit takes a turn. There it works its way down towards Bay Farm. And this particular turn tells us to head this way, stepping over the yellow caution line and down. Yeah, so this takes us towards Bay Farm. You can see we're in lowland area now. And the sound of the road isn't far. So we'll soon be crossing the Little Jones River or Jones Brook really at this point. Here's another confusing intersection. You want to ignore this particular trail and you want to focus on this looks like the road less often taken or whatever. Less the road less traveled, yes. That's the one we want, the low road. And they can take the high road and they'll be at high school before us, which is fine by me. Okay, and now, all right, and this is, here's where it's at its most obscure. The trail heads down this way, leaving that grid of old cart paths. And this is where I got thrown off last time. I, didn't see enough supporting information to suggest that this was a worthwhile go. Harry's having a little drink out of a seep. And this is the basic way you get to the whole Cranberry Bog Preserve following the Bay Circuit Trail from Lake Street. This is one of those sort of overlooked, underappreciated area. Although people are walking it because you can see where the grass has been stomped down. Thoroughly pleasant. You should be standing at Ye Olde Jones River right quick. Up. We got a robin alarm call. And here it is. So my 
elation on August 7th at finding this thing so easily that turned to minor dismay when I couldn't be certain I was on the right track. Now we figure it out. Bunch of tannin in the pond, in the river rather. And this is the spot where the description urges you to take care in spring. This is the brook runs high. And we're done. <laughs>